This is this is like the most Copesville shit. Like Your I put it like, he's in Copesville of the Babylon. Hey there. He had an alternate reality for the hopeless there. N Nick Ricada, imagine you you were the biggest thing of all time. You were the guy. The he lawyer. was in a Netflix documentary you, about you, the Johnny Depp trial. Yeah. He had hundreds of thousands of people watching him concurrently. Huge channel growth. I think he was like number one for Super Chats in the U.S. for a while. Yeah. If not, During he was the top. But he was like top 10 Super Chats in the U.S. for a long, long, long time. He called himself like the Pope of Grifting. Yeah. And, he just reveled in how much money he was making, all the viewership he was getting. But, but we now... Had a chat with him. We had a private chat with him before he was on uh, the F. Ralph Festival. And he was just like talking about how much he made or whatever. And we're just like, jeez. Right? Now but, look at him. But look at him. Just this look at him is... visually. He's just not looking First good. of all. The hairline is struggling it's a bit. Gone. But his eyes are where oh. it's just really bad, man. They're just sunken in. They're gaunt. Those bags, like, it's worse than what Fuentes was looking like earlier today. By a lot. And, you know, he's always had an unfortunate nose. He's had the beak of a f goblin for his whole life. And he can't help it. But these features, because of his alcoholism and his malnutrition, oh. have just led him to looking like a ghoul. He just, keeper. yeah, he's crypt keeper level. Like he's just rotted away. <laughs> like his skin is very pale. No, mine's too as as well. But his is like ghoulish pale. Well, I am a black man now. You're a, you're a full on black guy. Jock came to me and revealed I was a black man. Yeah, yeah. he's a full on. Angel. Now I have a twelve inch black cock, man. I seen it. All right, here we go. Well, we he's didn't need to reveal that. <laughs> Uh, you know, you should show gaming footage for the Zoomers, pole vaulting for cultured men, or puppy video. Hey, so what they're saying here, they're like, oh yeah, I'll put it a bit louder. What they're saying here is they go, so you suck now, you gotta try new ideas. Listen, bro, you gotta have GTA, you know when they're driving on those like roads in the sky? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. How they'll like mix it with someone talking, it's like the, the cars are driving in these like sky roads. Or like Fortnite, they're like anything. You need to start bringing in some new viewers here, right? Which honestly is not a bad idea. Yeah, let's grow your channel. You should show gaming footage for the Zoomers, pole vaulting for cultured men, or puppy videos, because everyone has HDHD today. The theory is it wouldn't <laughs> hurt. HDHD? <laughs> what? Actually, it would, in a weird way. I'm not, I'm not focused on growing this YouTube channel if I... What? Why? It's that such hope. That it's is so insane. sad. He should be like, you know what? That's good advice. Like, I haven't been growing or whatever. You know, he's going to pretend like, oh, I don't need any growth. Meanwhile, he's making $65 on his most recent stream. $65! You know? Can we get 65 bucks right now just to felt him? What is yes. it even in subs? Like, 12 subs? 13 subs. Yeah, 13 subs. And by the way, like, we work on our clip channel. Right? We make sure it's censored. Yeah. We have Flaked working on that stuff. Uh, I, I, I'll help out. You know, we try to like, you want Cause growth. Cause the thing is, you if you growth. don't, if you don't have growth, what does happen is just by sheer attrition, things fall off. Slowly. Because people find other things that they're into. People only have so much time and eventually they're gonna get bored of your content or something else will distract them. And maybe they'll come back from time to time. But over time, you're gonna lose people. So you need to bring in new people on a consistent basis. Otherwise your stream will eventually die. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not interested in growth. Well, then you're not interested in doing this anymore. Like, are you going to go get a real job? Maybe you should put down the bottle and try and figure out how to interest people in your stream again, Nick. I don't know. By the way, how long has he be, has he been like drinking again? Well, every Since day. February 1st? Yeah. I'm at 93 days, folks. 93 days. Was I wouldn't be doing this uh, rumble flip with no... Um, Shorter videos or clips. Oh my God, what? Stop, stop, stop. So what he's saying is that he doesn't want growth. 
if he wanted growth, I wouldn't be doing a rumble flip. Well, the idea is you want to grow, so, so when you flip to rumble, yeah, no, people follow over to rumble because rumble doesn't have that. rumble doesn't have organic growth. No. Let's be real; there's not that many people over there. People go over there for creators that they found elsewhere. Yeah, they're they're not usually stumbling uncensored. upon other people. I'm not saying it never happens, but in general, you know, you're gonna get most of your growth from YouTube. And you're going to bring them over to Rumble. Yeah. So if you want to renegotiate a good deal with Rumble, which apparently, like, the deal isn't going so good. They're gonna, yeah. They're hardballing him or whatever. Well, they're going, your chat, look, we, we can only fudge the numbers so much, but your chat has to they're look like, like it's listen, moving. We, we, we know the real numbers, bro, and you're not worth what we've been paying you yeah. currently. Because they only have so much money to waste. Because they're not... They're not profitable. Sad. They've never been profitable at any point. So it's just a big money pit. And they're trying to get people over there by offering them money. But at a certain point, they need to see a return on investment. With Rakeda, he hasn't even managed to maintain the people that he originally had. Yeah. It's been going down, let alone there being any sort of growth. The idea that you don't want growth as a, as a, as a business... Is, is insane. Unbelievable. Because his stream is not about anything he's passionate about or excited about or anything like that. This is just a business for him. This is just a way to make money. And he's going to pretend that he doesn't want to make money. He doesn't want to grow. The grift pope, he used to call himself. Oh, buddy, Give me know. a break. No, it's a cope, though. Bro. Whoa, so he says that's he has scary. A in his liver. How did that start happening again? Like, that's... I don't know. Ash, Quint for 60 Five dollars! Oh, Sixty-five dollars to dab on Rakeda! Dab on Rakeda! Let's go! Saying, I legit never knew that Rakeda was that successful at his peak. My, how the mighty have fallen. Let's Can we get another 65 to dab on him again? Just uh, for anything to promote uh, the algorithm, I, I don't... I haven't been doing that for a while. Because I'm not focusing on growing YouTube. Yeah, wait, and uh, by the way, yeah, he was getting great numbers before Rittenhouse as well. Yeah. The Rittenhouse stuff was like the f and like that, and the, and the depth was like beyond anything the sector has ever seen before. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like, he, it's all done. It's the, 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 the biggest downfall I've ever seen. Well, those From mainstream like, like massive trials haven't been happening for him to do for one. But for two, there are other trials that are around. There are other trials that people in LawTube cover. He's just refusing to cover them because he's a lazy ass. Oh, dude, yeah. But my schedule and whatever, and I want to be with my kids. But meanwhile, he hates his kids, never wants to spend any time with them, locks himself away in a room drinking himself to death, hates his I wife, obviously press. feels burdened the by press. them. I understand if he loved his wife and loved his family, like having to stream like for the trial, it's like, oh, f this sucks but i know him based on what he's been telling me he f resents his family because it restrains him from doing whatever sexual degeneracy or drug degeneracy that he wants so i don't believe that it's be oh because i love him he's just a lazy douchebag and he's a selfish f and he's not doing what's necessary for his channel to grow and that's why it's failing not to mention you can't be a sharp coherent lawyer when you're drunk all the time no you're just not going to be good compared to other people who are way sharper, way smarter than you and not drunk. You're not going to be able to compete. And that's I, what's happened back when there was nobody else competing with him in the law tube space. He could get away with drinking. He could get away with laziness. He could get away with all this shit. But now that there's so much competition bleeding away his audience, he can't get away with it anymore. Yeah. Do we have it in the folder? I think we do. Uh, it's yeah. like a lot of the Channel Awesome reviewers, right? Did you hear Which, Channel Awesome? By the way, I know it's dead. It's gone. So it's the end of an era. ChannelAwesome.com is down. It's, gone. it's never coming back. Guru Larry. Yeah. He's no longer on the site. It's tough. It's tough out there. He's but doing it's well the same on YouTube, thing. though. He's, He's doing, doing well. But these Channel Awesome guys. Once that all these competitors came in, all these reviewers that had way better production value and everything like that, they couldn't compete anymore. 
and most of them went under and failed. Yeah. So even though Rakeda had first mover advantage in this space, it doesn't matter because he's not capitalizing on it. He's not upping his game like these other guys are that are doing mm -hmm. trials, that are putting in the time, that are showing up to work sober. Legal. Okay, okay real fast. I would even argue about the drinking thing, not only the lawyer stuff, I'd argue any genre. Video game streamers, if you're drinking, even just people who talk, if you're a drunk and you're an alcoholic. Your mind is all addled. Like, I don't well, think. Well, Spoonie, like, lost everything from alcoholism and being a little bit yeah. up in the head and shit and lazy. And then you even look at someone like, like, Jesta Minx. Mm -hmm. She's, well, she's some random streamer uh, who started drinking a lot. Now, I saw her new, her recent video because of Too Mad Dying. She's a full blown, dirty alcohol. Like, Unwatchable. Just, uh, like, well, who the f thought that doing downers on stream would make you a better entertainer? Yeah. And even the uppers, like, you're the prime example of that. Yeah. Like, if you're f railing lines of coke every day, you're eventually going to go paranoid and f insane. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can't, like, you, you have to try and, and alcohol <laughs> makes you f like, and dumb yeah. and lazy and shit. Yeah. You know? Uh, Man, back when I was doing coke, like back, it was five years ago on stream, anytime someone would say one thing about me, I would be would like, fly off the handle. a five hour stream about them. Like just unhinge the bullshit. But uh, yeah, so so Nick's f here. Well, of go. course, you're, there are exceptions. There are alcoholics who are functional, but like, I hate to even acknowledge that because then everybody thinks that they're the exceptional alcoholic or they're the exceptional coke addict or they're the exceptional, you know, drug addict that's going to be functional and successful. When in reality, you're not that guy. You might think you're that guy. And it's like people who get into this stuff and they think, oh, it's so easy and they'll never have any drama or whatever. It's not that easy. Yeah. And you're not that guy. You're not that guy that's never going to have a problem or run into it. There or, are people out there like that, but you're or, not him and he's not him. Or, or Kate it, is not him. Well, Ash, it could even work for a while. For me, it worked for a while. I was like energetic and crazy. Da, da, da. And Rakeda would drink and be fun sometimes. But then it becomes not funny anymore. It Tennessee becomes Marine a problem. Says, Millions of homeless people thought they were that guy. Yeah. I mean, that's how you end up usually in that situation is through drug and alcohol use Ralph and just not giving a fuck. Oh, yeah, and Legal Mindset went after Nick, rated him an F as a lawyer. And this he is destroyed what Ralph to go crazy. We'll see tomorrow yeah. uh, night. So, yeah. To organically grow if there was some, like, major thing. I'm probably going to change that when I get around to changing the nature of the channel interactivity uh, with what YouTube does that and Rumble, even mean? changing the nature of the channel interactivity. So, when you're gonna have a second chat, or yeah, what, what? does that mean? Because it'd be like, like we make sure that that our tags are in line. What are we talking about? Is it relevant? Is he to gonna like, have stickers? Like, is that what's, like what's gonna happening? save him, or what? But when that happens, then that would be the time to do that, and uh, that would be the time to kind of flip the vision of the YouTube channel a little bit and, and utilize it for a completely different purpose. Maybe the, the time is now. Yeah. Maybe the time is to start the vision. The vision should be views and audience. Like that's the vision. Which isn't the plan, but that's a slow moving plan. It requires a bunch of other people uh, to do some things before that can happen. Okay. So, um, but thank you. Other people. Like, he, by the, that ooh. thank you is so fake. And you can tell he's seething. Like, look at his uh, eyes. To do some things before that can happen. So. Wait, uh, and other people. What does that mean? Like, more viewers? Like, what does it mean? I, I, I don't um, even think he knows. But thank he's you he's for that advice. He's seething at that person. Thank you. I hope so, you get a million you. dollars. Thank I you. Um, all right. So let's go into the folder now. What is this here? This is funny, man. Oh, buddy. This is jokes. And even uh, what's this guy Sex in here? Ben? Camelot. Even Camelot can't really defend him in this Buddy, situation. Can I just say one story about Camelot today? Go on. He was qu trying to qualify for the a Daytona, right? The Daytona 500? Yeah, so he has his car. He goes there. It's been his dream. Fails. Car well, doesn't... Yeah. Not fast enough, right? Hear this. So I feel bad. I'm, I sent him like, a message. Oh, it sucks, buddy. He makes it to the parking lot. 
Someone stole his truck. <laughs> what? That's so well, sad, man. You know. But he got f felt it. That's tough. He lost everything. Well. Anyway. Len says, EVS, what about the Rakita drop? Oh, oh, okay. By the way, the EVS had a back and forth in DMs. It was pretty funny. Because he's... Because <laughs> he was uh, trying to go after us for a second about yeah. going after Rakita. Yeah. Boy, have the tables turned, I folks. I know. <laughs> Sex Valen says, EVS, what about the Rakita drop? Oh, what am I missing now? There's, re there's new... Shit, I just watched it, man. Oh, it's so bad. Have you guys checked in on Nick lately? What I happened? thought he was on. I don't know what's going on with him. Though. Man, this, this is a 49-second video of one of a super chatter asking him. I don't know if you saw the uh, where Vic Mignona is right now. <laughs> yeah, we watched that one. Yeah. Vic Mignona's been oh, ordered yeah. to pay, uh, you know, those f***ing assholes. $375,000. Uh, their, their court fees, that's devastating. Did this just happen unemployed. Today? This happened last week. And so, uh, you know, Nick is being asked about it. Nick looks like f***ing hell. I can't even watch this video. I watched 40 <laughs> Wait, were we I wrong? I can't even watch this video. Uh, is this club chasing? <laughs> you up. know, like, but well, respects for him for calling him out. You want to see it? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Nick. Camelot right. lot feels uncomfortable, no? Yeah. Here we go. And I'm reading the comments and people are f***ing hating I mean, Nick. To, to oh, okay. Here's Camelot's defense. To, to be fair, he's been under a lot of stress. He's under a lot of stress. Stop. Well, whose fault is it that he's under a lot of stress? Stop. It's his own fault because he keeps fighting with everybody. He started the drama with Eric July. He starts drama with Josh Moon. He's battling and uh, what's the guy's name? The, the George R. R. Martin looking guy. That's his friend. Oh, huh. Sorry, dude. I know he watches. I, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. He's uh, battling with what, that guy. Legal mindset? Is that? No. no, that's the other lawyer that he's Sean, 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 Sean from Sean, Criminal Sean, whatever. Sean. The f he's battling sorry. with criminal, Sean. Criminal. Yeah, cr he's yeah. drinking himself drunk. Criminally line, something. Blind drunk every <laughs> stream. Potentially criminal. Battling <laughs> with his donators. Battling with Chad. Kiwi Farm. He's, he's not got his shit in order. He couldn't get out the gift for his locals fans. He's battling his, his alcoholism. He's battling his nanny over like three thousand dollars snack bills. <laughs> it's his own fault. He's stressed. Yeah. I mean, the guy really should just go on a vacation for a month. Yeah. Get clean and just come back fresh and start doing trials and stop getting involved in drama if it stresses him out so much. By the way, I don't know what to say? Do they have video game? The angry video game nerd here. James Rolfe on the stream. James Rolfe and J.K. Simmons. Wow, that's like J.K. Simmons crossed with uh, Machete. Yeah. <laughs> What's that actor's name? Uh, uh, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. Yeah, Danny yeah. Trejo. Yeah. So. Yeah. No kidding. He's like he looks like he's gonna die. I'm not, Who, I, I, Vic I, or Nick? Nick. Well, Vic Nick. too. <laughs> well, nobody's seen Vic in a while. Yeah, I know. That's why he's probably dead. He's under stress. Yes, so you guys ready I, to see this? Well, what, here's here's, here's what happened to John. You know, you know, just to fill you in. I'll, I'll fill you in why he's stressed. Because he's the guy that set Vic up with the lawyer that lost big for yeah. him. Oh, so that lawyer. Oh, this is so rough. A guy who had no experience in defamation cases, by the way. Oh. Had no experience whatsoever. This Ty Beard was so dumb. That he didn't even know that he needed to notarize the f***ing evidence he was submitting to the court. That's ridiculous. Like, he didn't even know that he needed to, like, number it. Like, he's so stupid. You're a lawyer, dude. The f***ing idiot. Well, are you ready? Uh, are, you, are you watching? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me take this down. Put this up. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, he does look a little uh, tired. Happened. Oops, I have to start it over again. Okay. Killer King says, still not talking about Vic. Remember, he used to be part of these shows? Yeah. Like, he used to be the guy. Like, oh, I was Rikita. brought on to these panels. Oh, guys, it's Rikita. Yeah. And mind you, these guys are all like, you know, they want to take Rikita's side or they're like unbiased observers. And they're all just going to shit on the way that he looks here. 
Oh. Like not not any of them are like a logs or like trying to make their well, name off Felting Ricada. They're all just they're like all watching either our friendly show and copying to him. us. No, they're not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I've heard something about an order oh, for Vic to pay, uh, which he already had a judgment. So, uh, if you really want to talk about the order uh, for Vic to pay, there you go. There's a judgment, and now he's ordered to pay. Remember, he used to talk about this trial. You couldn't get him to talk about anything else. Yeah. This was like his be-all and end-all. Hours and hours and hours on the Vic Mignogna it was like case. His Ralph. And every update. And this is yeah. how we're going to win, bros. And mm. don't worry. We're going to get him on appeal. And all this shit. That this And now... You can't get him to talk about it. Please talk about it. Now he just shuts his mouth. He's trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Look at that image. That's an alcoholic. Look at his face. Look how that's like the shit face. That's like shit faced, isn't it? Yeah, but the, you know what? I think the biggest He's thing like is the clay hair. Face. Yeah, is the hair. It's like a wax figure from Madame Tussauds. Oh man, dear, you came. And is any more? I haven't been following or keeping up. Uh, isn't it strange though? Pa isn't it strange that he wouldn't follow or keep up at all with the case that he built that he, his whole career on? That was the most important to him. Was that, that the building, the big case, the big building? Yeah, it was big... that case, okay. and it was the uh, the lawsuit with Maddox. Oh, yeah. Those were the two cases that he built everything off of that initially set up his whole foundation for him to blow up during Rittenhouse and the Johnny Depp trial. So, it, to me, it's kind of crazy. Oh, you're not going to look into that at all? That'd be like me five years from now. Say, like, the news comes in that Ralph's died. And, and then I, we just don't talk about it. And I just it. don't talk about it. I'm like, what? That would be suspicious. I don't know anything about it. People would be like, what? Like, what do you mean? That was what you were so fired up about. I mean, people change, but it's pretty transparent what the motivation is here. He's embarrassed about how it went, that he set Vic up for failure and him by recommending a total nepotism hire incompetent and tie beard and he's ashamed of it and it didn't go his way so he's going to try and sweep it under the rug and pretend that there's nothing wrong but in fact he Vic Mignotta yeah and if if they hadn't counseled Vic to sue he wouldn't be out three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars right now it's so weird the like this last um how long have we been doing our show two years and like four months yeah. five months it's been like the craziest two years. It has like been. Like the craziest, like, changing of, like... Well, everything's been shaken up a everything's lot. Everything's different. It everything. seemed like everything was in a holding pattern where it would stay the same forever. And yeah. then it just kind of broke apart, you know? Yeah, like, holy f That's That's what I got. I didn't even know the order came out until the other day people mentioned it. Uh, and someone sent me something on Twitter. I don't. I haven't even seen the document, so I could talk about it. He I hasn't guess, even but I don't. Seen the document. Like, who's supposed to believe this? Oh, I haven't even seen the document. Well, they can get it for you real quick. You want to go over it? You want to do no. some content for your stream? He's seen How it. How about you analyze for a second? Yeah, I went. Oh. Like it's like the yeah. pain is too. How much. about you go over it and analyze it? Like, there surely there's some analysis you can come to or. Um, I'm guessing it's just an order to pay with all of the updated fees from the appeals, is my guess. But I don't know. He doesn't know. Yeah. So people are giving him shit for that because. Uh, I mean, he they they people are giving him shit for everything though. Oh, Kevlock's like, look, that's that's one... the tip of the shit spurt. <laughs> that's literally like one little. That's the cherry. That's the cherry. That's just how yeah. it is right now. It really mm -hmm. does feel like a funeral, like for like a. Friend. It's a very somber moment yeah. for all of them. Like none of them really want to dunk on him or go in or go on a rant about what a bum he is. Maybe they're always this low energy and boring. I don't know, but uh, I don't, it's I it's just seen. it's like they're just what sad show is for this? him. The Jack Show. The Jack Show. Oh, John Mallon's there. <laughs> I mean, it was his idea, like him and uh, whatever, to, to sue, for Vic to sue. Yeah. Uh, I think. I mean, that's what people are saying. I don't know. I wasn't part of the I stand with Vic thing. I knew Vic going to con conventions, and I was like, I don't care, this dude. Uh, like, I didn't, I don't care. <laughs>
about that kind of thing, but um, uh, you know, he the was uh, pretty Dumbledore. instrumental in that whole thing. <laughs> the Bald Memorial. And now Vic is like unemployed, unemployable. Oh, Vic, Vic. The instrumental. Wait, and two shocker says he probably could have won if not for Ty. Well, these defamation cases are really hard to win in the first place. But, you know, once he hired Ty, he had just no f chance in hell. Yeah. So the guy had no experience in that whatsoever. And they could have got him a lawyer who was experienced or at least quasi-competent instead of a total r bum. <laughs> and even these guys are going to say, like, yeah, Ty was <laughs> Yeah. I think they did already. I don't want that whole thing. And now Vic is, like, unemployed, unemployable. With three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars worth of debt. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Because of that shit. And wow. so you I, have yeah, to... I'm gonna blame uh, Nick for being a little bit. He looked gaunt. He looks like he hasn't eaten in days. Okay, okay. Right. He, I mean, he hasn't. Well, let me say this to um, what's his face, Skyver. This is what we've been saying for months now. It's not like it just happened. Like it's literally well, it's been, been a build up. Yeah, it's been like a. F up yeah uh geez well i feel bad for nick and Vic. Uh, that's the danger in civil suits though and dragging people to court if you uh, lose they can come at you for legal fees yeah i can remember all of that going on and every time that that lawyer was a toy beard i just kept thinking this dude's a idiot <laughs> the picky blinders oh, he's a Idiot. A lot of bravado that, there, but yeah, he was. He didn't seem prepared in court, from what I what I heard. Three lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. <laughs> Ethan is very. Well, did he just leave? Quiet. Ethan is tired. He's been railing against uh, the the machine all day. I'm raging against the machine. Yes. Also, I'm, I was looking at Nick Ricade's. I'm worried about Nick. I'm sorry. I'm like worried about him now. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> As you know, these days at the Rumble Flip, I go and check on Lady Rackets, make sure everything's good in the house. Again, I have to stress. I have to stress that my this... oh, my entire Get schedule uh, that I've adhered to for adhered to isn't the right word. My entire schedule that has been beneficial for the past five to six years of I don't know exactly when I started live streaming. But between okay. five and six All years. Right. Do we? Do we move Holy on? Holy shit! Like, oh, I can't. I can't. Why like, is he so bad, Andy? I, Why I, is he terrible? How did he ever have any audience? Was he always like this? Yeah. Yes. I mean, he pretty much was always really, really boring. Let, but because he was a lawyer, but because it was like the big story. Yes. You know. Yeah. I mean, think about this. He was really the Tonka of lawyers. Yes. Or the Ralph That's a good of comparison. lawyers. You know what I mean? Because like he was like the host. And there it was everything other else around him yeah. that led to it being successful. It but didn't then, really have a lot to do with him. But then the success he like, of the program. saw himself as the as the main star. Uh, that benefit has uh, evaporated almost entirely. And the uh, entire run of my show, I've never wanted to eliminate the night show because so many people have supported me here right. at night. And I... Love that. I don't want to get wait, rid of that. Hey, God, wait, 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 wait. Wow, this is actually crazier. So your show is on the downfall. The YouTube's failing, everything. You're making 65 bucks yeah. on a stream. <laughs> and now your, 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 your changes, like you're going to change your, your, like your schedule? That's a disaster. This is when people watch you. Yeah. This is like your life. That's a terrible decision. It's this place where I've always been uh, creative and awake. Okay. But so much about it now has changed just due to my life circumstances changing. So I am trying to find a more appropriate schedule for some shows during the week while still maintaining the night show as well. Oh my what? God. Man. How I do How that about is. This? How about this, man? Just come up with a schedule and stick to it. Just do it. Don't tell me about your schedule. Oh, I don't know, I think about doing this and this and this. And he's not even proposing, like, what do you guys want? Do you want Tuesday or Thursday? Yeah. Okay, now Thursday at 1 o'clock or 9 o'clock. What's going to be best for you guys? Yeah. He's just, like, flailing around like a spastic mind, like, 
just the most boring way of announcing this possible. Where is the showmanship? Where is the passion? Where is anything? Um, artistic freedom says, oh, the whining. This isn't whining. This is the reality of what I've got. And uh, just telling you guys what I'm working on. Um, I want to keep as much of the night show as possible. I want to find daytime shows because I, I f***ing hate canceling shows. I know people hate it. All right. They really cancel not. shows all the time. All right. This is f***ing. got to move on. Yeah. Let's see. What else does he have here? Oh, this is Mudahar going in on him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. This is nuts. Um, I think we're key to huh. Helldivers to Hellpods. Repeat. Helldivers. I don't know, man. That side of the internet's f***ing ghoulish. Okay. What was that one thing? There was like that one like, He's talking about who... being ghoulish as he's enveloped in total you know? darkness. Looking like a f***ing goblin in the dark, <laughs> but okay. It's like f***ing... He's like that conservative like lawyer and it's like just turns out that he was like Helldiver. I think he was like hitting on like some trans person or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is all that Let's this go, guy in the stormy knows about. Ricada is that he got catfished by a man. And it's wrong. Oh <laughs> man, dude. It's not even right. It's not even the way it's not like even the story. It's like broken telephone, but Ricada is now known as a tranny chaser. <laughs> That's so jokes. Uh, and they were thinking what? they were a girl or something. It was a weird story. Like it showed up. I was in the plane and like, there was a story of like this one dude who was like simping over this girl. And then the girl turned out to be this trans girl, which like, I guess on the hyper, like that conservative side is like a no, no. It's not even like this story, but it's like worse. Oh, it's the man. worst broken. And I'm just like, dude, I mean, shit. <laughs> weird people. That's dude. amazing. Yeah, I can't look like shit. But it, why is it? Why is it? Good? Why is it weird though? If he sees nothing wrong with that, I don't know. All right, okay. uh, uh, let's see so I, okay, here. Right, yeah, yeah. All right, here's Sean. Well, let's see what Sean has. He's a friend to say of the here. show. Manny case over in Aussie's chat. Now, but has joked about suing me. So Mandy K. Oh, Mandy. Uh, said, has joked about suing Sean and Josh. Moon. Well, I hope they do it so it can be revealed they're a man for all and sundry, they're not even gonna, though it already had. They're not going to do they're shit. Not sue shit. For what? You're a f What dude. are they going to sue on the basis of that the truth was revealed? You that know? the truth came out that you were a man? Oh, blowing your ass out with legal motions would be a joke, too. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sean, look at yeah. this. He's Sean's mad. Oh, blowing your ass out with yes. legal motion. We're doing Tekken tonight. We beat the yeah. goal, the first goal. This would be a joke, too. What have I said that's wrong so far? Mandel. Mandel. Because right now, all I see is a bunch of shit. Done f***ing merit. Done f work. Done f***ing add up. You know, what am I supposed to do here? You tell me. Just saying. That's how you prove defamation. Like, I can prove it's not true. I mean, you can't just go in there and do the route thing. That's what? not true. That's not true. Let's go, Felted. It's a, a lot of. Wait, what, what's up with these guys who pretend to be girls? Like, Metacur Man bought and shit, too, right? Yeah. What's the like? No, I am a girl. Like, that's weird, dude. Yeah. Like, your life is to, like, to prove that you are a woman. I mean, there's a lot of cases like that these days. That's so I'm weird. just not really sure what it's about. Like, I, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to tro troll somebody and trick them into saying the stupid shit. Okay, I get that. I don't know if that's yeah. really right, but it's okay. Whatever. But then, like, when you get called out on and exposed for being a man to then double down and say you are a no, woman. I swear. And demand that everyone recognize your femaleness when objectively you are a male troll pretending yeah. to be a woman is just bizarre to me. And you AI image yourself as, like, this. Big slammer's on point. Attention or some sick fetish. It's a fetish. Too shock or mental illness. Yeah, mental yeah. illness. You got to... You... The receipts need to start flying. And... Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, govern yourself accordingly. Man, he's going to hire Ty and Nick. Well, <gasps> man, he's going to hire Ty and Nick. That'll work out. That'll work out. Oh, man, day. 
Ohio doesn't. I'll, I'll, I'll save you some time right now. You can't do a telephone notary in Ohio. He knows. He knows his shit. And since Mandy lives in Texas, you already know you can't do it there either. Sheesh, Sean's on fire tonight, huh? Uh, All right, let's keep plowing through. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Right, it's Ricada shittered on locals again. So I've started because it made people so mad. Oh, yeah, because it um, made people so mad. Look in those eyes. They're so shiny, so glazed over. He's f***ed. He's f***ed out of his mind that looks like a like an eye that you choose in cyberpunk you know it, it's like that symbol for like the male gender <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> and it's the ring light obviously but yo those are shiny ass pinned made people so mad that i had my studded gay belt from hot topic literally from hot topic well, he, why did you describe it as a gay belt his studded gay belt. You know, I'm mad too now. But nobody's mad about you wearing the studded gay belt. They just think it's funny. Yeah. They just laugh at you. You're seething. No, we're, we're laughing at you. Okay, Cole. You're seething about my gay belt. <laughs> Why would anybody be angry about that? Unless they're a fan of you and they're upset you're embarrassing exactly. them by association. Which case you should cut them a little slack because for whatever reason they like yeah. you and don't want to see you embarrassed and shamed. I don't know. Or or they want to see you. They're just fighting it, uh, fighting us. They're like, why would you wear that belt? I'm like, why would I be at Mar-a-Lago? Because I had that and it okay. pissed people off. I went to Hot Topic and bought more belts. I love how Ricada's owning everybody by wasting his own money Buying on gay belts. belts. Look at here, hater. Hey, log, I wasted my no, money don't. on gay belts that I only wear to humiliate you, myself. Psycho, don't Doesn't joke. that make you see? Psycho, don't joke about that, okay? I'm going to dress like a homo to own the haters. <laughs> this is just beyond. Like, what are own you the talking haters about? by sucking Look, I'm sucking <laughs> Doesn't that make you angry? <laughs> what? You don't like it? <laughs> Suffer. Suffer. All right, Johnny, I have to you. So, yeah, my emo belt. Right. Now, Get my fingernails black and start cutting myself. Wait. Okay. Wait, what did so I just... So, he's now going to dye so his hair, Thank you. paint fuck. his nails black, and cut his wrist to own the haters. Like, in his mind, he thinks that if Josh Moon, like, <laughs> laughs at him for cutting his wrist, that somehow he's winning by cutting his wrist. So, with my F grade... Thank you. Yeah, legal. Oh, legal. The legal mindset. The was it legal mindset? Yeah, legal mindset. And he's like, by the way, like pure professional, wears suits. Like, he graded all the YouTube lawyers, and Nick got an F. Mindset. A true bro. Always looking out for everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, he has. Just kidding. Just kidding. Because he ruined my career, like the Kino Boys. Rated me an F. Which, idiot, look, guys, I don't want to say All right, all right, wait, wait, what's the cope? Say this. I don't want to say this. Okay. Then don't. <sighs> you didn't read it. We have a code in LawTube. I created it as the king of what? LawTube. As the king of LawTube. Oh, my God. It's like... Wait. Yes, I created oh the code God. as the king of LawTube. Allow me to huff upon thy own thought. Oh, yes, an excellent vintage, my leash. Like, what the f is he talking about? Bro. He created the code of law to? Listen, buddy, you didn't read the f brief, and so therefore your analysis was wrong. You <laughs> he called you out. He's like, look, if you actually read it, this is what it says. You get an F rating because he didn't need, and he admits he didn't even read yeah. it. So what is he talking about? Bro, by oh, the way. yes, I invented a rule that you couldn't make fun of me. I, the king of law to, like. Did we not make a joke, by the way, about how he's becoming Ralph? Ralph says, Listen, I created I'm this the sector. The sector I'm the from the top on down. He said that on Who his the fucking Who the are you? P he's become literally Ralph minus the living in mexico really the supreme ruler the ultimate have you heard about a little thing called gamergate 
champion all that of law too. I was a the veteran one in Game of Game. <laughs> You'll never Ooh, have not. that pedigree. That's something he actually said to me directly. Kyler. He told me I would never have the pedigree of being in Gamergate. And I'm like, thank God I'll never be stained with that. Dude, you know, like <laughs> I, I, I came after. But Kyler says this show let's go. Let's go, felted, etc. Ox in law tube. That's me. Um, I created the code. Andrew knows the code. He had to abide by the code. He had to mushroom stamp uh, his signature on the signing signatory line of the code. And he knows this. Andrew, you know this. Lay off the booze. If man. Andrew rates you an F, anyone he rates an F, we don't use Fs in law tube. What? Well, now they do. Man, look at how hurt he is. <laughs> no. Look at how seething he is. He's f He's seen better days. That's, he's weathered. He's seen better, like, not even days, months, years, yeah. moments, anything. We don't do that. That's against the rules. It's against the code. Pope's decree says no Fs. Pope's decree. Pope's decree can suck my... Yeah, you have to motorize this code, unlike Ty Beard's notes. <laughs> unlike Ty Beard's Jeez. document submissions to the court. No Fs given, right? We right? don't I think use all wrong answers in this classroom. Well, okay. Let's have said this at some point. That's our, that's our, no F's given. We don't give an F. When you do give an F, everybody what? Andrew has given an F we to. We don't give F's, but, but when you when do you give do, F's. It's not to the Can teacher. he just calm down? Like, why doesn't he just ignore it? You know, he, he doesn't have to respond to it, there's right? there's no show. Well, there's no top, there's no, like. I, I don't get it. His segments are like, okay, seethe here. Up like, because if this guy's like the bottom feeder that's beneath you and you're, I am the king of law tube. I'm yeah. not threatened by this peasant. Then you wouldn't even respond to him at all. Specifically what he's saying Thanks, right bro. then. The moment he's like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate this person F. He wants to He wants to hard. What? It's like deflection. Here's That's a so joke. Retarded. Funny. Ha oh, ha. He wants to have no. sex with me, folks. This is like I have lower the, I have the This review, is lower level way. than the f***ing jokes we would make in 10th or 11th grade. Yeah. For real. These are like boomer dad f***ing jokes. Ha oh, ha. You want to have yeah. sex with me? This is like the lowest level. It's supposed to be an entertainer. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Wants to f*** hard and fast and dirty no and charisma. sweaty. And like, there's a way to say this and make it funny. There is, but he just has no charisma at all. Well, because you know it's an actual scene. Because you can do, yeah. Because he's seething. You can't joke and see it at the same time. You can make pretty much any stupid shit funny somehow yeah. if you're able to carry it off. But he's just a seething, malding little bitch. Yeah. So legal mindset. Who else did you rate F? Because I know you're hot for me, brother. Or should I say, what? Who else you hot for? Wait, did what? you see? That was a failed joke. Say, what? Great F, because I know you're hot for me, what? brother. Or should I say, who else you hot for? Whoa, oh, what? this brain. What's me? Like this sparks in his brain. Da -da -da -da. Uh, Cyberhunk2069 says, is legal mindset excommunicado now? Now. <laughs> Hello, darkness. Some shit. Now that motherfucker. Right, yeah, yeah.